Hello, Ways fans, it's my Mason here with another NASCAR Heat 5. Folks, I have it. Welcome to the first ever custom livery on NASCAR Heat 5. Today, doing Tony Stewart's 2013 Daytona 500 car. And, yeah, I'll be showing you how to make it. Cheers for Matt for sending the list. Uh, I went through some old emails thinking, what can I do? And because of Tony Stewart being in this game, I thought it would be perfect if we do. So join us and see how to make this wonderful livery. Hello race fans, ladies and gentlemen, here in the first custom livery for NASCAR Heat 5. And I was going through some some old div, you know, recommendations for Matt and just some of the many, many uh, liveries we have to choose from. So I thought, you know what, as it's Tony Stewart in this game, and we have only got three liveries of him. We should whack another one in there. So I'm going to do today. He's Daytona 500 car from 2013. I thought it was a nice simple livery. To get us rounded up straight into NASCAR Heat 5. So to, as you can see in the bottom left of your screen. There will be the reference picture. If you haven't been here before. And that will just be over there. And with this. Yeah, what you'll do, you'll follow us, follow how to make this livery, and hopefully you guys enjoy. If, if you do, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to have some more custom liveries. So, first of all, we're going to need the Monster, the NASCAR Cup Series, and we're going to need the Chevrolet Camaro. As you can see on my screen at the moment, we currently got that car. So, how are we going to make this livery, I hear you ask, and that is a very good question, and... What we do, we'll flick through until we find the perfect livery. And I thought that might be the one. Um, let's flick through. So remember that one there. And is there going to be any others? No. So if we start from the far right, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 across. Once we get 9 across, we want the base paint to be black. Now, don't worry, it doesn't look right now. Uh, we have got the gloss coming up soon. So, so next will be this orange. And you could just go for the orange on the stock part. And it doesn't quite look right. So, I'm just going to go into the customs, which is where you go into this rainbow part. And we make it go all the way up. There's red. And we go up one. And we want it a bit brighter. Hmm. I want it a bit brighter, but it doesn't look better. So I'm going to go for around here. And that's going to be 7th from the top. So 1 above the red, 7th from the top. Now we need this really dark brownie colour from... And that would work. Uh, I want it a bit lighter, so we'll go to the customs again. And we'll go to the... Hmm, let's try and go here. Here. And let's try and see how dark we can get. We could go up three. So around here, that might work. I'm going to try and experiment a bit with this and see where we come up. Because that looks like a bit of a better orange, to be fair. Uh, so if we, may, if we go one above where we was with the stripe one, we'll be seventh from the bottom. And that gives a nice looking car. So let's have a look, see what it looks like in gloss. Much better. Um, it's a shame we can't get that orange looking right. Um... Maybe it is better like that. I think we'll have it like that. My apologies. So we go to the red. Well above the red. And we'll go for 6, 7, 3, 6, 8 from the bottom. So once we do that, we'll go to the number 14. Which, that's quick and easy. So we've got plenty of choices. A, no. B, no. C, no. D, yeah. D looks pretty good to be fair. So it's going to be D, uh, or, I think it's going to be D, really. So I'm going to go for D, and I'm going for the white, which doesn't look white to me. I don't know why. Have I done something wrong? Black set, yeah. How weird. So the white doesn't look white on it, but whatever. Uh, with the number fill, we want it to be red. So we're going to go for nice red. I'm not going to go for that one. It just doesn't look right. So we're going to turn it down to about here. It gives a nice darker red to it. Um, it's just a bit bright. If we go to the customs, we do go to the red. Let's see what we've got here. If we lighten it up a bit, you still get that red effect, but not too bad. 
So if we go for six from the top, there we go. Gloss paint, rim color completely black, and spoiler color completely black. <laughs> so easy as that. So now we can look at the sponsorship to try and add a bit more character to this car. And to do that, we, I think pro for the pro base base pro shops uh, logo on the front of the car. We need some big and yellow, and I feel Napa is going to be the best bet for that. Uh, anything else I could recommend? Not really, no. Maybe Mechanics Wear, but I don't think it's going to quite work. Uh, Corvette Parts could also work as well, um, but I say Napa will be the best bet. On the side, there is another Base Pro Fishing. So to keep that theme going, we're going to stick another Napa logo there once I find it and it should be somewhere around here there we go as we're up here we've got big bold blue writing now this is going to be very difficult and I think credit one any giant any giant will work well for this one mate I believe uh, any others yeah any others I was about to go with uh, maybe credit one bank it would also work uh, but I think any giant would be best Siemens may work a bit there's a few work but not quite as well as I'd say that Ali Giant did which I can't now longer find which there it is and we're gonna have that on the deck lid as well now at the back here we're not gonna have anything because there isn't any any sponsors at the back of the car and it, as there isn't that we're not gonna put anything there so that's my attempt at recreating the 2013 Tony Stewart's car from the Daytona 500 and I hope it looks something like the reference picture I hope you guys like it so let's go and see what it looks like out on track so for the first delivery right the game made the wheels yellow I made them black you can see in the custom delivery I made them black so I do not know where that came from and that annoys the hell out of me so Ah, cool race with me and my new me, I must admit. So, <laughs> but yeah, in terms, if we ignore that completely, the livery ain't too bad. You know, the Napa is a bit in the way on the side of the car, not denying. The Alley Giant works pretty well. Napa logo on the hood works well. That orange, though, doesn't quite work. It's. Because we can't have fluorescent paint in this, it's a bit of a pain, but it's not end of the world. So, you know what, you make do, and that's about as near as I can get with uh, today's delivery. So, I hope you enjoyed our first ever NASCAR Heat 5 custom livery, and I hope to see you again for another Heat 5 custom livery soon. So, keep the comments coming, tell me what you thought of today's video, and yeah, I'll see you for the next video. Until then, See you soon.